Hello, plantitas and plantitas. So, good day po. So, ang dami kong goal for today, which is hindi ko alam kung anong sisimulan ko. Kasi, yung inner dry nga po natin na galing sa unboxing, is i-repot ko. And before I repot, of course, mag-create muna ako ng soil mix ko. And, papakit. Pero, ang main topic ko talaga natin today is, ipapakita ko kung paano ko um, what's the term? <laughs> Kinocure yung mga mga fungal infections sa mga halaman natin or especially succulents. So, we all know na number one enemy ng succulents ay ang mga pests which are the fung fungi and aph aphids and mealybugs. So, kung may makita kayong fungus sa inyong succulents, ito po yung mga possible na pwede natin gawin kung wala tayong pambili ng detain solution or detain powder na minimix natin sa water para gamitin doon. And by the way, before I continue with this vlog or with this video, I'm gonna show you what we usually do using detain powder which is very wrong which is nakita lang natin siguro sa ibang vloggers so on sinabi sa atin na gano'n ang gawin kaya yung ginagawa natin which is wrong kasi very har harmful po ito sa succulents so at this part papakita ko po kung paano ang right way or usage of detain to kill fungi and other pests so, decide for succulents is used to treat fungal infections in seeing succulents dying because of fungi is surely one of the most hurtful moments for the succulent lovers. It is also stressful when you don't know what to do in this kind of situation. Good thing, succulents can be saved from fung fungus attacks using fungicides. But the question is, what is the fungicide for succulents? Fungicides are very important in protecting succulents from insects and other threats. However, you don't need to apply it all the time. Proper caring and monitoring with your succulents are still the best things to do to keep the plants safe from fung fungal infections. Fungal infections in succulents they say that succulents are easy plants to care for. It is also, it also has aesthetic features that surely entice the eyes of the behold, beholder. They come in different shapes, colors, sizes, but although they are very versatile, they can all get fungal infection when they experience changes in their environment. So, I'm going to give the common fungal infections that a succulent can get. First is sooty mold. It is also known as the black mold. This fungal infection belongs to the least damaging fungi, fungi on succulents. It is believed that this kind of infection starts due to honeydew exuded by the insects. The insects that are the source of this sweet substance are mealybugs, aphids, white flies, and scale. The honeydew becomes the food of the fungi and helps them multiply. This kind of fungi is less harm. However, it can distract the succulent from performing photosynthesis. Next, gray mold. Botrytis cinerea is other term for this kind of infection. This is easy to identify, usually seen in the surface area of the succulent leaves and flowers. It produces grayish-brown spore masses. This type of infection is active during cold and wet weather in early spring or summer. The old damaged or dying plant tissues are usually the sites where this kind of infection starts and spreads quickly. Next is leaf spots. 
These kinds of fungi are harmless for the succulents because they have a wide tolerance for it. Despite its harmless effect, it can still affect the appearance of the succulent. The infected succulent will have shallow tan lesions and permanent stippling and or spotting. It can't give huge damage. But if a succulent is infected by this kind of fungus, it can transfer the infection to another succulent and might affect all the succulents. Next is Fusarium wilt, a pathogen known as Fusarium oxysporium. It's the cause of kind of fungal infection. It can disable a succulent from absorbing water. As a result, a succulent may experience heavy stress, wilting, yellowing, and the worst is death. This fungus starts by entering the roots and grow through vascular tissues. There, they multiply. When this happens, the tissues get blocked and absorbing water become hard for the succulent. As a result, the succulents will produce brown streaks that can only be seen once you cut the leaf. Next is anthracnose. This infection is caused by the type of fungi called Coletotrichum. The infected succulent can have a moist tan colored rot with red orange, pink pustules on the surface. Unlike other fewer harm fungi, this fungus can affect the wide range of a succulent plant. The spots usually start and spread quickly on leaves and crowns. The fungus spreads taking advantage on contaminated pots and soil. The best treatment, however, is not to reuse soil and make sure that the tools are well sanitized before using. It is also recommended to cut out the infected part in order to avoid the spread of infection. So, there you go. That process na binababad natin ni mga succulents or plants sa detained solution is very harmful than beneficial. So, I'll give you options on how to treat black spots and fungi, aphids, and mealybugs if ever na wala po, kayo, wala po tayong pambili ng beating or other fungicide. Then, miski po ako, nag-struggle din minsan na wala, nauubusan ako ng fungicide. So, these ingredients, kung meron kayo sa bahay nyo, is a DIY that can help you treat black spots or cure or remove and kill those pets. So, hmm, paano ko ba simula? So, nag, habang kanina po, habang nagdidilig ako nung mga ornamental plants ko, nag-check na ako sa mga succulents ko kung meron pa rin may, may black spots because of fungus. So, wala na. Lahat talaga na-treat na. And, ngayon ko lang dinag tong video na to. Kasi nga, i-check ko muna kung talagang effective. So, I now recommend it with you guys. So, let's start. Paano ba? Hindi <laughs> ko talaga alam ng simulan ko. So, yun na. First, or number one option, yun talaga. Kung may mabibili kayong detain solution or detain powder. Meron po kasing detain solution na yung talagang nasa bottle na sila na may spray na pwede natin gamitin. Pero, dito pa sa atin, more on talagang powder. So, what you have to do is just mix it with water. So, I have a container here. Nag-mix na ako ng konting powder. A teaspoon of detain. And mix it with water. Mas kailang, kailang po kasi maging thick yung mixture. Hindi siya katulad ng ginagawa natin na, or ginagawa ng iba na masyadong malabnaw at ibababad. So, this is for black spots. And, isa lang talaga yung nakitaan ko ng may black spots, which is itong part, itong isang to, na isa sa bagong succulents na binili ni Mama. Hindi ko matandaan kung sa online niya binili to or sa garden shop. 
I think ito yung sa online. And yun nga, kung napanood yung vlog ko kahapon or yung last vlog ko, itong daddy na kumay, na madaming millibugs or aphids. And as you can see, sana lang ito siya. May mga black spots. And yun yung main goal natin. Na-cure natin yun. Kasi kung hindi natin sila i-cure, kakalat sila sa ibang leaves at mag-fall off at talaga mamamatay yung pinaka plant. So, uh, nakita nyo na, meron akong uh, brush. Watercolor brush na lang. Buti na lang nga, may nabili ako kasi wala na akong watercolor. Wala, wala rin naman ginagamit yung kapag ko or pinsan ko na watercolor. So, wala kaming brush. At di rin naman ako nag-makeup para magkaroon ako ng mga pang brush na pwede kong hindi na gamitin sa akin at gamitin. So, buti may bukas pang store na nabilahan ko for 5 pesos. Kasi GCQ pong ulit dito sa Havite. Kaya ang hirap kasi ang daming stalls and stores na sarado. Kaya nag-struggle din ako bumili ng pots kasi sarado yung binibilang ko ng pots. So, iba-iba tuloy na bili ko. So, yung remove ko ito, mamaya ko na ipapakita sa inyo kung ano yung gagawin natin dyan na homemade or DIY fungicide. So, let's start. I'm gonna show you how to use this or how to spot treat those black spots, you know using fungicide. Hindi po bin again and again and again, hindi po binababad. Huwag na huwag nyo pong ibababad kasi mas nakakapatay, nakakamatay po sila kasi masyado matapang yung fungicide and one, and another thing huwag nyo pong hahawakan or at least keep it away from skins kasi talagang harmful po yung fungicide. So I'm just gonna dip my brush and make sure that it have detained or fungicide then spot it lang po so I do this with those succulents na my black spots yung leaves nila or stem at kung makikita nyo pa oh dumi Kung makikita nyo rin, ito lang. Ito lang makikita nyo eh. Ayun na. Meron pa dun. May black spots din siya. Spot treat nyo lang. Kung may magtatanong po na, pwede nyo po pang gawin to habang in-air dry. Well, yes. Actually, mamaya papakita ko rin po kasi nga yung mga order ay yung mga binigay sa akin na CNS or specifically succulents yung mga binigay sa akin na in-unbox natin ay maraming fungal infection yung leaves. Napakita ko naman po sa inyo. So, is Patrick. Pero don't expect it to stay in the stem. Eventually, mag-fall off din talaga sila. Even this Kapag na-cure natin sila, ang purpose po nito is to stop the spread. So, kung nandiyan na po yung fungi, hindi po niya makikure ng buo. Uh, sorry, I'm lost with the term. Kung baga, i-stop lang niya yung spread ng fungi sa na ma posibleng mahawa yung ibang leaves at mag hanggang stem at mamatay yung plant. So, this is for prevention once na may nakita na kayong black spots para hindi na maghawa-hawa at hindi, duma hindi dumami or hindi mamatay yung plant. So, I'm just here. 
and apply this every 7 days. 2 to 3 times of application ng is okay na po. So, you can do it 4 times a month. So, every week. Hanggang mag-stop na po yung spread no fungi. Wala na po kasi yung mapakita ang iba sa inyo. Bukod dito pa. Isa pa sa kung gagamitin nyo ng fungicide ay magkakaroon ng yellow spots. Kaya wag po nyo ibababad. So, isa to sa mga in-air dry natin. Pakita ko lang po na i-spot treat lang natin. Oh! si May fungal infection siya. And then, nag-fall off na. That's what I'm trying to say before po. Na malalagas or mag-fall off din po talaga yung leaves na may fungal infection. Kumbaga, ang purpose po nito is to stop the spread. Hindi po natin maka-cure or matatanggal na may fungal infection na siya. Ayan, meron dito. Yung leaves. Pero, maka-cure natin or ma-stop natin yung spread. Yung fungal, actually, I'm not sure if this daddy will live. At meron pa rin talagang movie bugs. Kung may kita nyo. May video ako before. Nung nag-unbox ako. Yung itsura nyo. Ay, yung talaga mag-focus eh. Okay. Papakita ko na lang po. So, ayan po. Napakadaming mealy bugs. Aphids or whatsoever. Like fungi or fungal infection. So, this is the right method. A method. How to use fungicide. Masyado na. Pati yung stem niya. Oh. So, at this one, pakita na talaga na malaki ang chance na hindi siya mabuo. Even yung mga under, check nyo rin po. Kasi talagang ganun, yung, ganun po siya i-check. Ha? Sinecheck ko yung ilalim kung mga merong black spots. Kasi minsan sa ilalim sila hindi natin sila kita. So, regular check up po tayo sa mga succulents natin. Kung meron ng fungi or fungus, kung isa lang naman, spot treat lang ng mga black spots. So, nababother talaga ako sa mealy bugs. So, ipapakita ako sa inyo isang way or option kung paano nyo i-remove yung mga mealy bugs. But, at this part, I wanna show you the experiment I did before na hindi ko naman dinag, hindi ko dinocument. So, hindi na rin masabi kung talaga magbubuhay ito. Kung susubukan ko siya italim pa, sabay ng mga inner dry ko. Pero sa kanya ko papakita or gagawin yung mga i-DIY nating fungicide. So, we have alcohol, another thing that we need, cotton buds. So, wet lang natin yung, yung cotton buds natin with alcohol. And then, yung marireach nyo is i-remove nyo yung mealy bugs using the bud, cotton bud. Hindi ko kasi mapapakita sa inyo ng no? close up. But, look. Ay, hindi talaga mag-close up. <laughs> hindi yung dumi. <laughs> Sadyang mealy bugs yan. Wait. So, dito, may nakikita rin ako sa ating mga parang bowl. So, again, ano, siyempre yung gamitin nyo. Gamitin nyo. Gamitin nyo. Cotton buds. Hindi ko mapakita sa inyo eh. But, but what I'm doing is, may nakikita akong mold or some pests. 
the white so I think it's medieval so I remove ko siya using these cotton buds with alcohol konti lang naman yung nakita ko nasa stem siya so spot it lang Ito talagang devi. Sobrang rami. At nakakaloka lang yung sot na in-air dry nila, binalat nila, biniliver nila na may fungi or mini bugs. Ay, nakikita talaga. Pero maliliit siya. Kasi yung malalaki kagabi is ginamit ko na. Inisprayan ko na gamit no. Natira ko DIY fungicide and so I've decided na ipakita ko sa inyo kung paano mo ginagawa yung fungicide so let's just put this aside isa pa po sa it option, another option is cinnamon cinnamon powder so I have cinnamon powder here so, the cinnamon, cinnamon powder are commonly heard as rooting agent. But a few knows that cinnamon is also a wound repairer or fungicide. So, how to use cinnamon po as fungicide is we spread lang. Sprinkle lang tayo ng cinnamon sa soil ng infected plant. You can also do this sa ibang plant para maiwasan na po na magkaroon ng fungicide. Pero kung nandun na po yung fungicide sa plant na yun, the only thing that it, cinnamon can do is to stop the spread. So, there you go. Pagitan ko lang po kasi yung butas para hindi siya maubos basta. Tipid-tipid din. And good saying that this plant is already more than 2 weeks to 3 weeks na hindi ko na water so yung mga infect, nilagyan po natin ng fungicide yung pag nyo po hawakan kasi another thing is the fungicide solution or the detain solution is pwede nyo pong ibilig just a few drops sa tabi ng stem or roots. So, I have a dropper here. So, dali lang ito natin. And then, diligan nyo po ng konti. Yung mismo pinagdiligan nyo ng fungicide. Konti lang. Drop lang ng water na mabasa lang siya para yung mamix siya sa soil and maabsorb siya ng plant. So, ayun po. Ganun lang po tayo ma- mag black spot. So, I hope po nakatulong. Subscribe po. Subscribe! So, eto, gamitin ko pa sa ibang plants ko. Konti-konti lang, drop lang sa mga hindi ko pa nadibiligan doon. So, another option hmm. I have a container here and the water you saw this is best for millibugs also for fungi well ito kung gagawin natin is for millibugs, aphids, fungi so it covers all tests and 
I have an empty spray bottle. Ginamit ko na to before with deep paint solution sa aking common sewing method. Alcohol. Baking soda. And dishwashing liquid. Muntik ng detergent yung sabihin ko. So, water. By the way, lahat ko nang ginagamit kong tools. Buti mo yung brush, yung container na nilagyan ko ng detail. Itong container na to, yung shovel na gagawin kong panghalo. Ayaw kasi gumamit ng ibang teaspoon. Ay, lagi ko pong sinasanitize with alcohol. So, let's put water. And then, baking soda. Just a total of teaspoon. washing liquid. So, three. Pound. Then, mix four. So, yan. Mukha na siyang buko panda na gulaman. Green na o. Saka natin ilalagay dun sa empty spray bottle. puto niya video mawag si mama so mix lang po natin tuwing gagamitin so how to use it sample ko siya dito I spray lang po dun sa infected area spray lang natin tapos Ang method po na ito ay for 48 hours. So, tomorrow, kung nag-spray po kayo nga today, ispray nyo ulit bukas. So, iwin ko rin siya dito. Yung sa part na nakitaan ko ng bugs or some pests. Spray lang. And then, bukas po ulit. So, another option that I can suggest, I think this is the last one I know, is alcohol. So, kung may extra bottle kayo or may spray bottle kayo na pang alcohol talaga, ito, extra ko to pang plants lang talaga. Alcohol lang talaga yung laman niya. You can also spray it sa infected area. Spray nyo lang. Yung alcohol. 70% solution. Ayun. Since may hindi pa ako na-spray nito. So, kaya. Yung mga mini bugs pa din. At makikita nyo. But, kapag gina gumamit po kayo ng alcohol, pang wait nyo for 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and then spray it with water. Para lang po mag-evaporate or hindi, kasi mat, syempre po, matapang na po talaga ang alcohol para sa ating plants. So, spray it with alcohol, then after 10 to 15 minutes, spray it with water. Kung ano yung spray nyo po na part, yun din po yung spray nyo ng water. So, I think that's it. 
Sana po nakatulong ako para sa, sa mga namroblema, sa mga pests, sa kanilang succulents. And even ito pong homemade or DIY fungicide ay pwede rin po sa mga ornamental plants na may mga pests or especially fungi talaga. Even yung mga langgam, it's good po. Just make sure na, syempre may stock po ito kung meron kayo sobra. Before using it or before spraying it, i-shake shake well lang po to make sure that the mixture or it is mixed well. So, there you have it. I hope you this was very informative and helpful. So, share, share like, share, subscribe po. And I'm down to my next goal for today. Mag-create ako ng potting mix. Dumating na yung order ko ng soil or yung pang soil mix ko. Meron pa ako half sack dun ng pumice. So, loam soil pang organic plants ko. Vermicast, coco peat, CRH or carbonized rice hull, and charcoal. Yes po, nagamit po ako ng uling sa aking potting mix or sa plants. So, kapag ito po yung ibang mixture ko pero yung pang succulent po is hindi ko ito ginagamit pakita ko po sa inyo yung soil mix ko for succulent so this is my mixture of my soil mix or DIY potting mix I'll put uh, my vlog on the description below regarding this It's, it contains of 60 to 70% of pumice or 6 to 7 cups, then 20% vermicast, or sorry, CRH, so that's 2 cups, and 1 to 2 cups of vermicast, and 1 cup of cocoa peat. So, every time we use, or before we use it, mix well lang po. We have to mix it well before we use it, para po, nadadry siya or yung init niya na nagmoist sa ilalim ay na tutuyo at hindi mainit kapag ginamit sa sa plants GCQ ulit dito sa Cavite naubusan ako ng super white clear pots doon sa binibilan ko kasi sarado, hindi siya hindi naubusan sarado yung ibang stall and stores as I've said before so no choice ako kasi so sa dirty white ang nabili ko kulang pa so May corrugated pots pa ako dito and other pots. So, no choice ako kundi magiging magkakaiba na naman yung pots na gagamitin ko. So, ito na po yung mga in-air dry ko galing sa unboxing. Those are the powder. Kita ko, napakita ko na sa inyo sa isang vlog ko kung para saan yung DE powder at paano ko ginagamit. So, ayan. If you will see na napakita ko rin naman sa vlog ko, yung may mga black spots dyan, even this campfire, may kita nyo. Ayun o, no, ang laki na fungal infection niya. Iba yung sunburn sa fungal infection eh, kasi the more na dumadami at nag spread siya, mamamatay at mamamatay at dadami talaga yung fungal infection dyan. So, pwede ko siyang i-treat habang in-air dry, however, talaga mag-fall off siya. Same lang naman kapag nakaripat na mag fall off sila kapag may fungal infection na. Ang, parang binibigyan lang natin sila ng gamot to stop the spread. So, siguro pagka-repat ko na, doon ko na i-treat yung mga black spots ng fungal infection sa mga to So, i-repat ko na po muna sila. Ito yung mga nalagas while unboxing. So, ang daming fungi at mga lanta. Repotting, done repotting, done repotting. So, ayan, may part 2 pa rin ang paglalagas. More on galing sa lovely rose. And, expected na may maglalagas pa din. Kasi, kung makikita nyo, yellowish pa din yung ibang leaves niya. So, done repotting. Nakakangalay na pag repot
So, ito na si Daddy na naglagas-lagas na talaga ang dahon. Ayan yung 1, 2, 3, 4. Matanggal na. So, ito na yung may so, I'm not sure. Tanggalin ko rin siguro yan dyan. Hindi naman na yata mapapropagate yan. So, again, once na nag uh, nag-treat tayo ng mga black spots or nag-apply tayo ng mga fungicide or pesticide at least a week wag po natin silang papaarawan as in wag direct sunlight pwede silang indirect pero hanggat maaari indoors muna kasi mas masusunog sila since matapang masyado yung mga fungicide Masusunog na siya at mamamatay. So again, thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. Nakatulong sana sa inyo. So, thank you, thank you. Subscribe po. Like, share, subscribe. Happy growing and happy planting plantitos and plantitas.